that was a whole life in and of itself. And it, you know, to a lot That's of people, it, it became like Heather who, I mean, botched was a huge hit. Like that was this, great between those. Two, this yeah. has potential to be like, there will be a day when like Mauricio is the reality TV star of the family and not I Kyle. Could see it. There will be. I could see it. I mean, you know, and look, I mean, they allude to the fact that Mauricio might do some business deal, not, not in this, this pitch, but I mean, we've seen it, right. Mauricio is very close to PK. Right. So, you know, maybe you see PK making a crossover PK and Mauricio do a deal. You know, they invest in some building or whatever, you know, build a, an apartment together, whatever, you know, I mean, there's so much great crossover. And I think that the husbands are great. I mean, PK, I adore PK. I mean, PK is fucking hysterical. And I mean, David and James, I forgot which one it was. It might've been both of them were involved in PK and Dorit's real estate transaction, that other right. house. So it's like, You'll right. see. David and James are going to be there. Ryan's going to be. Everything is coming to Netflix. And wait, I, I agree with you. I mean, I don't think it's such a good thing for Bravo with all this. But I mean, Netflix is just look at if they can find some formula that is real housewives. I don't know what it would be. They will start knocking that up too. I don't know if they want to. It's it's a it's a shrinking it's a shrinking ratings thing so but you know bling empire if you look at it yeah it was based on crazy rich asians but you could relate bling empire to shaz of sunset or you can relate it to you know family karma other bravo you know shows about like a certain day. so netflix isn't you know you don't you can't do it all at once but i would say in five years netflix my prediction is running the reality game i would that's a huge prediction. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, that's wild, wild, you know, because I mean, there's just, wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You know, maybe they'll do, maybe they'll do what, you know, girlfriends in Paris is going to be on Bravo. Maybe they'll start coming and saying, we're going to do junior housewives and we're going to find people in their like thirties and, and, and make that, you know, um, girlfriends of New York, girlfriends of LA. I mean, I don't know. Like, anything is possible but i think netflix is slowly selling sunset was such an important show for them they wanted to enter the reality game and here they are and it's like it's oh and by the way selling sunset has just been renewed for season six and seven i mean sh this doesn't happen guys where like a show gets renewed for like two seasons at once it's season six and seven so both are, I mean, they both are, are not, I mean, God, they're filming, they're filming nonstop on that show now. I mean, I've had all the agents on and I'm like, look, I mean, just cut to the chase. Like this has to have been good for business. Yeah, of course. And so that's where the Ryan thing ties. It's great for your business. Um, what else do you, you know, what's interesting, what I found is Nene Leaks is now feuding with Facetune. What is this about? Okay, that wait, I wait, wait. I, well, I was going to say to you, you know, I don't have the scoop on this one. Um, do you? I have the scoop more on Andy Cohen talking about the housewife that he went shopping with in Cannes, who was such oh. a tornado. Uh, oh. But I, I did not end up doing a dive into this. Do you know anything about it? I can I can look into the... I don't think there's much to it. And then, okay, well, before we get there, now, now I want to know about the housewife. I assume this housewife he went shopping with is, is it Dorit? Because she's a yes. It is. I just so, thought. I guess you know that, for real. You know. Yes. Yes. You. You know. You did a. You basically set the scene, right? I mean, so Andy recently was talking about that he took Garcelle and Dory to Can, where there was basically an insider TV um, summit, which there are many. But wait, and so like he was invited and he said, I can invite any housewife I want and I'm choosing Garcelle and Dory. No, 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 no. It sounded like probably it was pre-planned to some degree because it was about sales. Like it was basically NBC Universal's being, okay. bringing some of their talent to kind of engage, you know, big sales clients, right? So probably, I don't know, Procter & Gamble you know, all these people who, who advertise on NBC and spend millions and millions of dollars in ads. Right. But anyway, he basically was saying while there, he did a shopping excursion to Hermes with Dorit and Garcelle and shopping with Dorit is like, she's a complete tornado. Now he didn't really get into what that meant. I would say it's like, she's trying on things. She's pulling things. She's asking quite like, it's like, it's too much. But then Dorit said she was the only one who left the store without bags. So like she didn't buy anything and Andy and Garcelle did. Um, but Andy just said that it was like shopping with a tornado with her. And I of could, course, 
Dorit says she shops all the time. You know, Dorit shops all the time. She's always been into fashion. She knows the, the how she wants to look because um, it's a look. And, um, you know, so she just says that she loves to shop and she shops constantly. I mean, look, she's good at her fashion. I still think um, my favorite fashionista is Christine Quinn from Selling Sunset. Not to stay up. I, that's just my style. And when Carson Cressley was on my show, he said the best dress housewife is not a housewife. It's Christine Chu from Bling Empire. But I personally love Dorit's style. I love Heather Dubrow's style. I like personally, a lot of people don't. I like label on label on label on label. I don't mind it. I don't mind the Heather Dubrow Fendi bag, Fendi shoes, Fendi skirt, Fendi scarf. I don't like it. I know everyone out there is rolling their eyes and people find it very obnoxious. I kind of like it. Yes, I guess tell me you're rich without telling me you're rich. I don't mind it though. So I love when Dorit is like head to toe Louis and head to toe Balmain. I love it. Nene Leakes is, by the way, Nene Leakes is thing. It's not really a thing. It's just that she posted a picture of herself and like, you know, the comments in Facetune said, like, we love you. It, literally, they said, we are loving you. And Nene, is, I guess, didn't really care for that. She said, like, basically, like, are you basically shading me? Like, and saying that, like, I'm using Facetune and, you know, and then people are like, oh, my God. And then, of course, the world jumped on it. Facetune is stirring up you know, for stirring up drama. I mean, I think Nini's, you know, exact, you know, in true, I say what I said for him, that Nini shot back, um, this is a professional photo shoot, stop the madness. So like Nini kind of clapped back at them. Of course, they're like, well, we never really, that wasn't really us clapping at you. I don't know. I guess I, I their comment is kind of a dig. I mean, it's Facetune. What we are loving you. What else would that mean? Right, as Sarah laughs her ass off. You use every single filter you've subscribed because you know, of course, with Facetune to really unlock the good filters and the good that you have to pay, right? You know, so I, I think it's so funny. <laughs> we love you. You use our shit so much. Um, what a compliment! Oh my god. I mean, come on. Is it you a slow week everything. here in gossip, Sarah, that we're talking about Nini's face shooting and Dorit shopping? I mean, like, are, are we now no, talking we about the obvious? I, 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 I'm, I'm going to read us. I'm going to read us. Read, well, definitely read us. Um, but I think it's a good, it, I think it's actually a good distraction for Nini um, because, you know, th there's been so much back and forth about this lawsuit. I think it's hysterical that she got into it with them. I mean, it's, it's just, I know whatever she's going to make a feud out of anything at this point you know i think it's just it's it's good to distract from the lawsuit and of course you know she's being sued by the boyfriend's ex-wife alleging that she had an affair with the you know the new boyfriend that ended their marriage um and you know she could she could be really dragged into that you know if there's enough overlap evidence so i, I think it's hysterical but i mean they all use facetune they all use some sort of thing you know by the way, you speak going back to Beverly Hills for a minute. <laughs> Miss Jane, in addition to all of her legal issues and all of that and the 2.2 million tax bill, Miss Jane is saying like, listen, you know, she did an interview, I think it was with E! News saying like, you know, don't think I'm out there like having such a great time dating. She's like, nobody wants to date me. She's like, people are, Ramona says this all the time. She's like, people don't want to date us on reality TV, but Erica's taking it one step further. And she's like, you know, I say exactly how I feel. And like, men don't like that. And men are scared of me. And like, I speak my mind and, you know, like everything in my life is public and who is going to want to date me. So Erica is saying, you know, this, this, she's not, it's, 